Keep watching Charis TV. New people, last time I told you, the things that you go through, there's nothing called normal. There's a problem. You hear me? You see this man, problem here, so that he must struggle. Now when you go to the toilet, blood coming out. There's nothing called normal. There's someone after your life. Even now, I'm praying for you, they're looking at you. They're saying, please, uh, she must, or he must never believe. Do us a favor today and believe Jesus Christ. Yeah. You are hearing what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Just believe today your life will turn around. Yeah. You don't need to do it, just believe. You know, we African people, you know, in families there, when you grow up, there's a competition. Your, 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 your auntie is a children. She doesn't want her children to, to be under someone's children. You know, parents. This one wants their children to be better than the children of that one. This one wants their children to be better from their witchcraft come. When you prosper, they say, but why not my children? The minute you say, why not my children, you are a witch. Because you must learn to wait for your time. Even your children, they must learn to wait for their time. Amen. I can't hear you, amen. amen. So now, you people, many of you here, the problems you have, the struggles you have, they are not starting now. Whatever that you are seeing now is the results of something that has been done on you when you are very small. Because witches are able to foretell the future. They can see this child is going to be this. They attack you when you are small. You are surprised now at your age. You say, no, nothing is working. Uh, why... Me, when I try to get a job, I can't get a job. When I try to do th this, nothing is working. They have tied you when you are small. Whatever medical problem you have now, it has started a long time ago. They were just waiting for that period, you know, that now you are close to receive something. They say, no, now it's time to attack. They use a button, it says clack. Which is, they use button, they just press. Press, you suffer, you suffer, you suffer. From there, they say, uh, relax. When I look button, they suffer and relax. Suffer. From there, you are surprised, you are suffering pain, this and that. When they, they are towing with you. From there, when they see that, you know, they say, ah, no, hey, relax. They are watching you. From there, you feel like you are feeling better, everything is fine. They say, ah, no, it's like, now he's laughing too much. He's laughing, or she's laughing too much, suffer. From there, the body changes, you start to feel pain, you start to feel this. You know, you, you want to do this, you want to drink, this, nothing is working. They say, oh, okay, I know enough, relax. Today I want to tell you, may the one who died for you on the cross release your name from those evil pots. I say, the one who died for you on the cross must release your name from those evil pots in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I said be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. We don't know which is. If someone say there's no God, because people say there's no God, but one time I said to people, 
tell me where a soul of a man comes from. Someone can say, no, we are, it's evolutions, you know, we are coming from somewhere, we were apes, we were this, we were that. But even that ape, where did it get the soul from? So today, the God that has created you, I say the God that has created you, yeah. must return everything that has been taken from you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The God that has created you, today as I'm standing here, I say your life must come back to you in the name of Jesus. Let your life come back to you in the name of Jesus. Let your life come back to you in the name of Jesus. Whatever that they took from you. Some of you, when you were born, there were stars. They saw a star on you. They said, this is a wrong star on a wrong person. They took it. That star must return to you in the name of Jesus. I said, that star must return to you in the name of Jesus. They took something from you. They said, who are you to be great? Today I release you. I say, I release you. I release you in the name of Jesus. 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 Some of you, when you live here today, you shall be a prophet of your life. You shall be a prophet of your family. You shall prophesy. You people, you are not hearing what I'm saying to you. They've closed your eyes. They've closed your ears because they know that Jesus has favored you. Today I remove whatever that they've used on your eyes. I remove it in the name of Jesus. I remove it in the name of Jesus. You know, these people, they saw something on you. And from there they say, we are tying, we are tying. I untie you. I say, I untie you. Are you probably hearing what I'm saying to you? Today when you live here, you shall be like soul. You shall prophesy. And everything that you prophesy shall come to pass. Everything that you say shall come to pass. You probably are not hearing what I'm saying. Someone saw something on you and they said, not you, not you. Not you, it shall not happen. Today I want to tell you by the blood of Jesus, uh, by the blood of Jesus, be released wherever you are in the name of Jesus. You know, there are many things that Jesus wants to do. I don't know if you are hearing me. One of them is to raise you in that family. So that those people that will believe in Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying to you. Some of you are depending on your job. You are thinking that job will give you life. But God is looking at you and saying, no, 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 no. I'm the one that will lift you up. You are looking on the wrong thing. Today, as I'm here, God, there are many here that you have given them favor like nobody else. Jesus, I want to close now, but I want to tell you, you have given them favor. But someone decided to steal this favor from them. They're here. They're here.
when you are growing up, they used to look at you and say, I know. Why this child is not like my children? Why it is like this? This child has got favor. What is going on? From there they wait. Be dark outside. They come and remove what God has placed on you. And they put it on their children. If you've got someone that has changed their life with yours, and they are living their lives through your life. Today, I want to tell you, if that person is a CEO, they must leave, lose their job right now. You shall be a CEO as soon as tomorrow. If someone is a lawyer by your name, I want to tell you, that person will lose that position as soon as tomorrow. If there's someone who's a doctor by your name, your mind and the glory that God gave you when you were small, I want to tell you everything must return to you. I say everything must return to you. Everything must return to you. In the name of Jesus, receive what belongs to you. There are people that when they are living, you can see that, oh, oh, this one is living my life, this one. You can see this person is living my life, this one. Today, you must stand like David. You say, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Bring back what belongs to me. Bring back what belongs to me. When we live here, when you are driving today, prophesy yourself and say, this is not my life. I know my life is coming. Say, this is not my life. You must prophesy yourself. Tell your neighbor, say, prophesy yourself. Tell your neighbor, prophesy yourself. Because you are living a life that is not yours. Every child on this earth, they are born with something. Now the question is that, why out of everyone in the family, you are the only one who's struggling? There's someone that is living their life through you. They are sucking the blood from you. They are drinking something from you. Today when they come to you, they shall fall and die.